So, I did a little bit of soul searching, a little bit of looking inwards, and I did a little bit of uh, wikiing as well. And I realized, first of all, that my memory has failed me and that I did not do the exact build that I should have done. I don't want to say that I was supposed to do. Um, I was misremembering a few things about the game when I set up this character. I was being influenced by kind of what I remembered from Skyrim, I think. So we're going to start off today by starting off fresh. Huh? Um, we're going to basically rebuild Locke. We're going to do a couple of different different skills namely light armor instead of heavy armor as a primary skill and we're going to um hopefully not have me get so angry at the very first bandit in the game that i sequence break to the end steal a bunch of stuff and then play the rest of the game on easy mode i do want to play this somewhat legit so that being said i'm going to try to um start this up in just a minute i want to give whoever might be coming time to get in and I need to get on to my um my chat so I can see if you guys are talking to me while I'm playing because more than with most games this one is really touchy um when you're switching back and forth with windows um like switching to the studio so I can see what people are saying I've actually had it crash on me a couple of times um already this morning so this is like my third try trying to get this to work so I would rather just not have to change screens at all once this starts. And I've, I'm already seeing frame drops as well. So we'll we'll see how well this goes. Um, it may end up not not being really doable at the end at the end of the day. Um, I do remember that I have to unfortunately use a keyboard for all of this, which is going to suck. But um, yeah, we're going to jump in and then. I'm going to have to change at least once because I can't quite remember where the, the empty space or if there's any empty space on the screen because I don't want my, my horrible face to be covering up important information. Um, so without further ado, here we go. We've already seen all this yeah. before. There you go. You were dreaming. dreaming. What's, What's your, your name? name? My name is Locke. I thought you were asking me to stop with you. I have heard them say we reach tomorrow. I'm, I'm sure, sure we'll let us go. Why? That is an aggressive cod piece on that armor. <laughs> That's the final boss's dead ass. Look at that. Sounds like Boris from um, Oblivion. But our records don't show from where. I'm an imp imperial, and I've got I've got hair, and I've got I've got a face, and yeah, okay. We're gonna do this quick this time. Yes, we've been expecting you. You have to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few ways we can do this, and the choice is yours. Okay. Oh, okay. It just wasn't showing the little cursor. Um, okay, so as with before, our major attributes are going to be the things that we want to level up the fastest, it's going to be the things that we rely on the most. So we're going to do long blade and block for combat. 
Um, and then we're going to do light armor this time. And then um, I'm going to say... Security and Conjuration. Yeah, Intelligence, Intelligence, Agility, Agility, Strength. Okay. And then for the less skills, and the reason I did Security instead of Sneak is because Security is kind of like you do it once and then it's over and you don't know when you're going to get your next locked box. Sneak, you can sneak whenever you want to. So Sneak, I don't need quite as much of a boost per success because I can just sneak whenever and I, I'll level up so it's not a big thing um, so let's see what do we have we've got blade block light armor security conjuration which means that over here we're gonna want none of the combat long blade block I don't think that we had any other um, things here um, we're gonna want sneak we are going to want Mercantile, we're going to want Speechcraft for our personality stats. And then we're going to do, um, let's see, <clears throat> we already got Conjuration, we're going to do Illusion, and Longblade, Block, Light Armor, bam, 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 Security, Sneak, Mercantile, Speechcraft, Illusion, Enchant, Conjuration. So what should we do for our last thing? Any suggestions, chat? This is kind of a freebie. Um, if I do, I don't really need to worry about doing in, about Enchant so much. I'm not sure if Enchant affects the usage of, um, of charges in your weapons in this game. Um, hmm. Let's see what we've got so far. We've got one, two, three magics. One, one, two, combat, and one, two, three, four, five rogies. So, hmm. <coughs> I reckon. Oh yeah, here it is. Enchanted items burn less power and are recharged more efficiently, efficiently from soul gems for a trained user. Yeah, we'll go with enchant then. And then for favorite attributes, let's see. We've got one... We've got one strength skill, so we're not going to worry. And strength lets, us, strength lets us carry more weight, but because we're going to be using light armor, it's not going to be as important right off the bat. And we can, we can power level that stat pretty quickly. Once we get to the first town, we can join the Fighter's Guild and just train up armor or something. Um, probably going to be, we've got one, two, three agilities. So the first one's definitely going to be agility. And then the second one, conjuration, enchantment, and security are all intelligence. Um, yeah. So I could either go with personality or intelligence as my second stat. Um, I'm thinking intelligence because personality, I'm going to start with a big bonus to that anyway. And when I, when I choose my sign, I'm going to get another little bonus to it. So I don't think I'll need, I think on my, on my last chapter, I think I'm like level three and I've already got like a 92 personality. So, um, yeah. Cause Imperials get a personality bonus the lady gives you a personality bonus and then having a favorite attribute of personality you start out with a 90 or an 85 or something like that um so yeah nobody said anything so i guess i'm feeling good about it very good the letter that preceded you mentioned you were born under a certain sign and what would that be it's gonna be a lady <laughs> 
Interesting. Phen I am Locke of the Imperial race, a phenomenal sir born under the sign of the lady. I have no health. <laughs> Uh, let's see. So we got 40 strength, 50 intelligence, 30 willpower, 40 agility, 40 speed, 65 endurance, and 75 personality, 40 luck. Yeah, I'm not gonna, not gonna need any. All right, whole lot of fives and tens down here, which is okay because all that is is that's that's free points. So basically, like every time you gain a level or every time you gain two levels in a in a stat or in a skill related to a specific stat that adds one to the possible stat gain when you level up so all this tells me is see we've got a good mix of things that are level five so we can train those things with trainers even though they're not important for our level ups we can train in acrobatics we can do 10 levels of acrobatics and then i can add five to my strength right off the bat that kind of thing um the, our, now, the downside to this is that our class skills are actually kind of on the low side as well. The minor skills are real low. Um, best skill is long blade, and that's only a 45, but that's okay. We can make it work, right? Right. Um, so, yeah, looks good to me. Well, it doesn't look good, but it looks like what we're going to go with. And I start out knowing uh, Bound Dagger, so that's nice. <clears throat> I don't use small weapons but you know it's always nice to start with a spell right i now have a stats menu i can right click <laughs> okay and this is creep all this shit. Gonna be interesting when the uh, the town guard or when the you know the imperial offices get completely cleaned out the day I show up, and then the next day they're gonna go to buy some groceries or whatever, and see literally all of their shit on the shelf in the store. <laughs> um, so let's see. We want to drag. We want to pick this up. Yeah. Thunk. Okay. And I think F was draw. Whoa, no, don't do that. I keep... Okay, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Um, there's a there's a hotkey thing that you can do. I need to check. Hotkeys. Ready weapon, ready magic. So F and R. Always run. Caps lock. Auto run. Q. Okay, I didn't notice those before. Next spell is equal equal and minus or next and previous spells quick one quick two quick menu there we go there we go there we go okay okay return do i have to hover on it while i do it did i did i like just completely space out and read the wrong thing quick menu no it's f1 The hell?
Maybe I just haven't been able to assign it yet. Maybe that's maybe that's why it's because I just haven't unlocked that. Funk. And I wield it. I wield it. Yeah. Boom. Alrighty. You now have a map pet menu. Hi, buddy. Tell me about Morrowind. What are your duties? Or what are my duties? Oh, okay. So he's telling me to go to, to go to the town of Balmora and talk to Caius Cosades and give him this package. And that's going to be the start of our main quest. That's the main campaign stuff. Um, this is just a bunch of random information about random bullshit and goodbye okay good 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 stuff <coughs> hey, Fargoth are you the one the boat dropped off odd to see a boat arrive at that time of the day hope the Imperials treated you okay I swear they took my ring uh yes I found your ring You are now my favorite friend. I'll be sure to tell the others, especially my friend Errol, who runs the trade house here. Go see him. He'll be happy to see you. Little secret. Little advice. Latest rumors. There's been some trouble up at Fort Frostmoth. And background. Alright, cool. I am Fargoth. Commoner. Buddy. I'll be happy to give you a little advice. Okay. Let's go unload all this garbage that we've that we've acquired. Um He's he's at one hundred one hundred percento, so Hriskar is having financial troubles. Practice your skills, Elsheim. Yeah, all that stuff is important, but we don't care. So <clears throat> we're gonna sell him this and both of these. We'll hold on to all this stuff for now. Um, sell that. Go through and sell all this random garbage that I stole just to give myself some starting gold. I just press enter and okay, that makes it a lot easier. Cool. Alrighty, so total sold 260. I want to hold off on buying any armor just yet because I'm not sure I can remember exactly what you get from um, from that place we're about to rob. <laughs> Let's see. Anduzi's unhinging. Yeah, we'll take them both. We'll just... Oh man, round it up to 170. We're friends. Nice. Okay. Uh, save. We're just going to save over the old one. Okay. Yes. Okay. May I help you? Yep, you can get out the way. Hey, Hriskar. Recover some gold? Sure. He wants me to find Fargoth's hiding place. And if I can find it, he'll give me a share of the gold. Sure. So let's do 
a little bit of adventuring. We don't have to. We'll just wait till it naturally gets dark, and then we'll um, inventory menu item. Boom. And then we'll have nine B our lock pick. Boom. Okay. What's the jump key again? How do you jump? Oh, E. Okay. <clears throat> At the speed of light. Yeah! <laughs> it's so ridiculously fast. Checking for cliff cliff racers. Those things are a cancer on the people of Morrowind. Oh, yeah, boy. Yeah, we um, we found that last time. So now. What we can do is just go ahead and return F1 inventory. Boom. Now we've got a little magic dagger. It's magical, so it does more. It also does a weird slashing animation that's not as quick as the the um, the stab. But I've got it set to I've got the game set so that it just automatically uses whichever attack is. Um, most effective because depending which honestly it's kind of it's kind of interesting but um this game did i think actually track like if you were moving this way and this way it would slice and then if you were moving forward it would be a stab and if you were still it would be a chop which the i don't know if oblivion did it but i know in skyrim they actually added like maneuvers where it's like if you're holding forward when you do this you'll stab and paralyze the enemy and stuff like that but I do like that they actually have that in this game. Um, just you know, certain things like you can you can try to do a sideways swing for like better accuracy or a stab for more damage or whatever. I mean, it ends up being kind of a crapshoot because um, the. Uh, And he's dead. <laughs> uh, it ends up being kind of a crapshoot because the to hit stuff is so dumb in this game. But, you know, whatever. Okay. And this is why we came out here. So th this book is ridiculous. Take. And we're just going to take all of that. And now we're going to change this to this nice magic longsword that he just dropped. And what else did he have? I didn't even look. Let's see. He's got some scrolls of Icarian Flight. Scroll of... I already bought that. And then he's got some fancy clothes. Okay, so the only thing that really mattered was the gold and the... Um, the Well, the scrolls matter. But um, I, I, I specifically came over here because I wanted that sword. Because now I've got my long sword. It's magic. So, yeah. <clears throat> I also like that um, the, the draggle tails, you get different stuff depending on if they're opened or not. I think that's that's funny. Maybe not funny, but it's, it's, I like it. <laughs> All 
already searched those. Okay. <clears throat> While we're over here, we can find the dead tax collector if we want to. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oof. Gotcha. That used up three. I guess it's one per per hit or something. Um, it uses up. Just waist deep in a in a strange swamp. Two days or two hours after I get off the um, boat. Buddy. Just shatter some pieces. Scrib. Oh, buddy. What? Oh, I didn't realize they were quite that quick. I feel like I'm doing a lot better now with the, the attacks. Like, I think part of it is that there's a random mischance, but part of it is just that um, you have to be... You have to be at like a certain range or something like where you're where you're trying to hit them and where you're trying to hit them from is important so you cannot remove this corpse oh sucks to be him <coughs> guess he'll just rot then Jumping is kind of a joke in this game, honestly. I'm not sure why they have it when it's this bad. Hey, buddy. Oh. I thought one. Of the, I didn't see him actually do like an attack animation, so I thought another one had swooped in behind me. I was like, "What? <laughs> no, I'm not ready. I'm not ready to die. Are we ever?" Okay. Well, that was a fun little trip, right? Didn't even use up that much time. Go pluck these little shroomy boys here. And bloop. And bloop. And bloop. Money in the bank. I haven't even been looking at my... Oh, yeah, see, this makes such... I mean, I'm not wearing any armor at all right now, but this makes such a huge difference to not be a heavy armor guy. <clears throat> um, early on, it's, I guess it's just... It's, it's easier to survive encounters and things, but you don't get as much money coming out of them because you're weighed down with bullshit. So, definitely, definitely an improvement. Um, one day... I've already bought Skyrim twice in the past... And one day I'm sure I'll buy it on Steam and that'll be the third time and then I'll play it and I'll, I'll be able to show you guys what I'm talking about with my um, my masterful heavy armor thief build. So, I think this is a... Yeah, I knew there was another one over here. Iron Shard Axe. So see, like right off the bat, they're giving you access to several magical items if you know where to look. Um... <clears throat> Also because, you know, not just because I want to show off my, my thief build, but also because Skyrim is just freaking fun. Like, um, I think my, my original, like, do everything lock character in that game, I probably had like 600 hours, which is not actually by any stretch of the imagination, um, <clears throat> the most anybody's ever put into the game, but, you know, I, I love... I've probably played through the entire main campaign with like five different character builds. Um, 
that I can think of, and I've started and messed around with a bunch of others, like a like a master caster, master blaster caster, where I just um, destruction is free and you like a conjurer boy, and then I've played as a as a straight thief, and I've played an archer character, and I even did one that was like a psychic warrior build, where I just basically had him be like a heavy armor, like two handed two handed weapon heavy armor fighter, and the only little tweak with him was that I had the um, where you could do the bound weapons. And I, I would just use bound weapons, so it actually got pretty hard later on because eventually they get outclassed. But I would just like start every fight by summoning up like a, a ghostly axe or something and just go into town. Um, that was fun. I don't know if I'll get in trouble for stealing that. You just stay there. You just stay there. So what that just means is that I, I don't get any health back because I can't sleep there, but I'm totally allowed to just like waste my time just standing there, so that's okay. Nice! Are you doing that? Are you talking about in Skyrim or are you talking about in Morrowind? By the way, hey Odie, how you doing? <clears throat> Morrowind. Yeah, I um I had started this up before. I don't, you probably didn't see my my stream last week and I was I was basically just using my build from Skyrim, which is not really ideal for Morrowind. Um so I'm starting over now, but as you can see, I know where some of the stuff is. I don't think I've ever played a Red Guard. That's the only thing is I just I really like the Imperials and I like the Dark Elves. Um and I liked our and I like Argonians. So but I've never played a red guard. They have the, um, are they the ones that have that ability where it like it maxes their stamina for a while or something? Like they can just kind of like go nuts. I was like, I could jump, and then like, ah, or I could break both of my ankles. So, we'll just use the stairs. <laughs> Poor Fargoth, betrayed by his favorite friend. <clears throat> and I think I said this in my last playthrough as well, but um. If you return Fargoth's ring to him before you do this quest, then you can just snag the ring back. I think he puts it back in there the following night if you if you do the, the log quest first, but it's just a little easier to just basically be able to keep your stuff um, if you do that. So we're going to bunk and return. No, how do I? I'm still learning my... my these controls, the, the PC controls are upsetting to me. Ready magic. So how do I, where's my magic menu? Do I have a magic menu or is it all the same thing and it's just, okay, I think it's just, it's just the same thing and I was going too fast. Um, yeah, over here, I guess. Yeah. There we go. Cool. Okay. wondering if I can get away with this. I should be able to. I feel like that Fargoth was the one that was narking on me last time. I don't think it was that the, the guards were seeing me. I think he is just a POS. Well, that failed. 
that was a bad roll. These uh, this Anduzi's unhinging spell. It um it has a range, so you'll you'll like you need a forty five to bu to bust this lock, and you'll get between a forty and a sixty. Wow. Well, I'm gonna reload then because I disagree. <clears throat> I'm not going to sequence break too badly, but I am going to reload if I just get get dicked on my um, my stuff like that. It's like... Oh my god in heaven, you POS. Do I have any stolen goods? Yeah, okay. Cool. Yeah. Kiss my ass. Worth. Worth. Yeah. Did he he didn't take anything from me, so did he? He didn't take my lockpick, and I know that was stolen. Oh, he did! He took my book! He took my book that I, my 300 gold piece book. Never mind. I'll come, you know what? Honestly, I'm going to, I'm going to come back here in a little bit. Um, cause I don't want to just sit here and keep reloading, but, um, this is actually, it's actually, I've got 840 gold, so I'm okay. And well, now he's walked away. So I guess I got to try it. Right. I was going to say, cause there's, they have the drugs in here. That you can that you can steal, but honestly, it becomes a bit of a pain in the ass because you got to unload all of them, or other merchants won't deal with you. But I guess if they're not gonna, I like that it's locked. You're not supposed to be in here, but once you get in here, the the guard doesn't care. He's like, I guess you wouldn't be here if you weren't supposed to be. This is just all the, I guess, the smuggled shit that they've confiscated. It's gonna be a little heavy. A little bit of armor. Oh, we're like at exactly 200. Oh my god! Okay, let's Put. There you go. Adrenaline rush, yeah, yeah. I could see that being a good ability, though. I need to. That's what I need to do. I need to do um when I do play when I do play Skyrim or when I start playing Oblivion when I get tired of this one. Um, I need to I need to try some of the the races that I haven't played before. Um. I've only ever played an orc once and it was actually pretty funny because it was a it was like a gag thing that I did. This was back before streaming was even a thing or if it was it was in its infancy. Um and I actually did like a um a blog where as I played I would be typing stuff and just my random thoughts and things. It was basically streaming on paper and I played as an orc. I did it on um not the whatever the legendary difficulty because at that point they just double everything's HP and it gets aggravating. But I did like the master difficulty, and um, I was playing as an orc that only used the toy wooden swords. So I had these two enchanted toy swords that I would just go ham on people with, and um, and it was fun. I, I had fun with the I had fun with the build. I had fun with the uh, the the experiment. I think I made it. I made it decently far into the game before it became impossible. Um, I, I was like level 20. And the whole rule was like essentially you can't use destruction magic. You can use conjuration and you can have followers, um, but you can't you can't use any type of offensive effects or illusions or anything. Um, the only way you can personally affect the enemy is the whacking them with the with the swords. So. Um, barter. He's still got a decent amount of gold. He can afford this. I'm going to keep that, 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 that. Okay. Let's see. 
let's see. Sell that doofy hat. Sell that. Sell that. So, Odie, are you just playing through on your own, or do you have a do you have a stream as well? Because it's been a long time since I really played this, and I'd love to be able to watch somebody that's a little more up on the game, um, and kind of see how they how they play it if that makes sense because i'm just basically playing based on memories from you know a decade ago of like what worked and what didn't and you know i was 10 years 10 years younger and stupider than i am now <laughs> gone over his limit. Hang on. Give me that stupid hat. And I'll take the shoes back as well because you can afford this. I got you. I got you. Yeah, that was that was what I played this on. So like I, I never played it on any of the newer systems or anything like that. So I I mean I was just floored. I've got my I've got an Xbox controller, Xbox 360 wired controller, and it's this game's not even like controller compatible, which kind of seems weird to me. Um, which is why you see me going into the menus a lot and struggling with my controls is because I just have never played this game on PC before. But I think it's I think it's great too. I mean that just that speaks to that speaks to how great the game is that you know there are people that still play this on the original Xbox and get enjoyment out of it as old as that game is. Um, you know that's the game is just that good. It just keeps you coming back. That's like um, that's just like uh, I I did a I did a long form playthrough of Rings of Power. And that was a Sega Genesis game that came out like 30 years ago. And that was like the first thing I streamed when I started streaming was I was like, oh, I got to play some Rings of Power. I got to show people this. <laughs> and I'll probably end up playing it again because I've got people that watched the first stream wanting me to do a speed run of it. And I'm like, you don't have to twist my arm. I do like that game. <laughs> so. So. <clears throat> So do you do a lot of the exploits and stuff, or are you a purist when you when you play? Oh, I went too far. Wait, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I gotta talk to this guy. So like, I know I'm gonna do a couple of the CE exploits, the constant enchant exploits and things like that. Um, I definitely need to track down the the drunken mud crab again, so I can get some money. Uh, stuff like that. I'm not going to do anything that's like, you know, fundamentally broken where you just like do a spell on yourself and become invincible or anything like that, but. Ah, how odd that he was murdered, but not robbed. Your honesty is appreciated. I can tell you that. I won't forget this lock. In fact, if you're looking for some money for yourself, I'd like to see the murderer go punished. Okay, so he'll give me 500 septums if I find the murderer. Yeah, I didn't take the I didn't take the platter because when I did it my first time through they they got mad at me. They fussed. So, I mean, I know it's I know it's worth like 650 gold, but 
and I'm obviously not afraid to, to rob people, but I really don't like getting shivved constantly. Yeah, I'm, oh, I'm getting ready to go back into to say to Neen's excise office or whatever and steal the rest of that crap. I would love a, like, click, like, double click to lock sneak button. That would be so nice. Yeah. Boom. Boom. I know there's some other stuff over there that I need to... Uh, you, you know what? Before I... Oh, that's true. I never really... I don't think I ever did that. Never really thought about that. But yeah, if that's the if that's literally the only thing you steal, then when they're like, oh, I'm going to take your stuff, then they can't take it from you. You're such a smarty. I don't think he comes up here, but... Uh. So what is that, 25, 25 pounds? Yeah, I can't take that just yet. Nice. They don't even like charge you like a basic fee or anything. Like they don't for for um, for the act of stealing. Okay. So I think because now I got to go all the way to the because the. Dude man, dude man has no money. I guess if I rest, it'll recover. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, I do. I mean, even without doing that, I know there were ways that I would... I would. I had definitely stolen from, from that person before, but... Um, hey, buddy. What exactly do you require of me? Nothing. Someone finally got him, huh? Well, it's no surprise, I suppose. Severe. So, I'm trying to remember if you can, if there's like an, can you rest here? I don't think so. I don't think this is like an inn. I think you just have to go outside the town and camp like a chump. Well, I guess here. Oh yeah, do you would you just like put your money in a crate and then tell him and then get the quest and then and then uh take your money back out of the crate? Is that how you would do it? He's got his gold back. Nice. Oh. Brave. Well, in my previous episode of this, I kept getting killed by the uh, the magic bandit in the cave right outside of town, and I got so pissed off, I went straight to Ghost Gate and stole stole a bunch of like glass and and ebony armor, and then came back and flexed on him. Um, <laughs> I guess I'll sell this. I'll sell this stuff that I don't need. I know I need some of this for. Um, for quests. I need the Bungler's Bane. I don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Yeah, I can always get more, right? Just come back and buy it back from me. 
large quamma egg. Small quamma egg. Salt rice. Although if I'm being honest, I might very well <laughs> I might very well still go to Ghost Gate and steal the full set of glass armor from there. Um it might it might be a little irritating to watch because I'll be um I'll be reloading a lot, I'm sure, but that I might actually end up doing that. Yeah. Yeah, and then immediately go to go to Balmora and train up some useless skill, just convert it into at least that's that'd be me. I would just use that to convert it into like plus fives on some of my stats. Like as soon as I go to Balmora, I'm gonna join the Fighters Guild, Thieves Guild, and Mages Guild, and I'm gonna just train up like something useless, like a spear or something, and then use that to get extra extra points. Um, just you know, buy stat points. It's a lot easier to get hundreds in all your stats in this game than in the later ones. I remember there were like specific things like you had to be careful if you wanted to get hundreds and everything. You had to like very carefully plot out what you were doing in Oblivion to be able to get a hundred in all your stats. Okay. Is there something I can do for you? Processus murdered? No! Tell me it's not so. He was the gentlest man I've ever met. He and I had become so close in the past few months. I don't know what I will do without him. Hmm. I don't know how that, okay. Oh, there we go. It gave me the, it gave me the quest thing out of order. Foreign Gilmuth. He thought Processus had been levying too much and skimming off the top for himself. So Foreign Gilmuth is who we need to talk to. Let's see. So let's who is Foreign Gilneth? Sounds like a sounds like a dark dark elf name. I'm assuming it's somebody near the edge of town because I'm probably not gonna like roll up into the the trade house and just shiv somebody. Is this you? Are you Foreign Gilneth? No, you're not Foreign Gilneth. Sorry, sorry, sir. I wasn't. I wasn't. Uh, what's the word? I wasn't um, profiling you. I think it's probably over here. I feel like I remember going. Yeah, I, I was like, I remember going in this shack a lot when I was younger. <laughs> hey, buddy. What do you mean? That fetcher? You're damn right I did him in. And a good thing, too. He was skimming a load of money from all of us honest people, overcharging us on our taxes and keeping the difference for himself. It's always flaunting his money around, showing off his new clothes and jewels. So I killed the bastard and left his body out there to rot with all his ill-begotten gold still on him. I'm going to assume that this guy is wrong because when I when I went to talk to Secucius Sokur Ergala, he specifically asked me, did you get any tax money? And I said, yes, I found 200 gold. And he was like, oh, good. Like he didn't. I mean, maybe he's just maybe he's just clever, but it didn't sound he didn't seem to be surprised by the amount which tells me that there wasn't anything missing and there wasn't anything extra there um so i think that gilneth is just a butthole get away from me Ow! Butthole. And see, this is the thing too, is you know, he, he talks a he talks a good game, but he sure did keep that 240 gold piece ring 
You know, they're like, oh, well, he didn't take, I didn't take the money. No, you didn't take the money, but you took something that was worth just as much off of his dead body. So, yeah, F you, bro, you're dead. I'm going to dispose of your corpse, and this is my house now. There you go. I have a house now, yay! Dance and fire. Oh, the sweet, sweet dance and fire books. Now I got a place to dump all my uh, ill-begotten goods. So you you will you'll know because you're like the expert, Odie. Um, stuff doesn't despawn in the chests and things inside houses in this game, does it? Like if I, I feel like it doesn't because I can remember back in the fog of time that there's a house in Balmora that has a very nice little like tower aesthetic with blue lamps everywhere that I used to always murder the person who owned it and then just steal their house. Um, and I'm thinking that I can remember storing stuff. So if you're still in the chat, um, do you know, is I, I'm safe like dropping things in the chests, right? Um, basically asking, like, so if I decide that that's just going to be one of my houses, Foreign Gilnit's shack, if I dump stuff in the chests and boxes in his house, it won't despawn, right? Like, it stays forever. Okay, that's, I was, I was like 99% certain, but I wanted to make sure because I didn't want to like put the stuff in there and then quick travel out of town and look down and see you being like, no, you idiot, what have you done? And like a thousand gold pieces of stuff just vanishes from my, <laughs> from the boxes. Um, okay. Oh, I gotta go over here and talk to Bretta Man on processes his body. Oh yeah, because it like doesn't ever vanish, right? It's like permanent. Just shove everything way up in there. Keep it safe and warm. He didn't even ask me who it was. He was literally just like, oh, okay, cool. Thanks, buddy. 500 gold. Good job killing that person. You've made, you've made the Empire proud, citizen. <laughs> Why is it safer? Is it does it just glitch sometimes? Is that is that the the gist of it? Is that sometimes like it's it's not supposed to despawn, but sometimes it does anyway because game logic. Missed that basket the first time. Get up 
the steps. Oh, well, so why is shift? Oh, it's because I was hitting caps lock. Huh? I was like, why is shift a toggle and not, and not control? I'm dumb, that's why. Drogos. Okay. Cool story. Well, now that I know that that's like a a click to click to alternate or whatever, that'll make my life a lot easier. These are just these are just empty bottles. Not worth. up here and then there's this chick oh well he's just like giving up completely he's like I don't even care what you're doing citizen alrighty save well I've got 21.89 so I'm not quite at Odie's level but I, I did I did all right I did all right and and once I get to Balmora I'll have I'll have three thousand easy because I'm about to sell all that moon sugar and everything that I that I nabbed um, and then I'll do some quick training and I'll come back and deal with these sobs over here um I think it depends honestly Calrea. Um, I definitely have a few things that are for games that I don't have, but I also know that there have been times when I've tried to get something and it's like, you, you don't have the game or, or I, I guess you can look in the store and see things that are for like games only. And I know that having the games tends to unlock stuff. So it, it just depends. But I have several. I have several things in my in my point store that um, that are for games I don't have. Like I think my profile, actually my profile frame, the little goop, that's for a game that I don't have. We go to Balmora. Why walk when you Did you did you purchase your copy of Stardew Valley yet, Calrea? Once you get a good computer, you could uh, you could stream Stardew Valley for hours at a time. <clears throat> First thing we gotta do is unload these drugs, and the Khajiit are always willing to buy illicit substances. I don't even remember how much he liked me. We'll try it. There you go. Everyone knows the Balmora. Oh, I'm sorry. I think you can filter it for, like, games that you have and stuff like that. I don't know if there's one that's just, like, show me all the things I can buy. But, um... Yeah. Sorry. I'm sorry you've met with a terrible fate. Is there something up here to steal? I feel like there was something up here that I used to always steal. Maybe not. Maybe I just used to always steal everything. <laughs> I know you can steal you can steal shit off the shelves in the back. You can steal some magic gear from him and then sell it right back to him. Cause he's dumb. But I don't wanna rob Ravir. Ravir is my he's my connection, man. I gotta I gotta keep him I gotta keep him happy so I can keep selling him this this juicy skooma. 
Point and click puzzle game called The Room Three. Sounds lame. Have you gotten your new delivery of money yet, Ravir? Because I need it. Okay, so I'm just gonna have to buy something from him because I'm not trying to be sitting here forever. Bound longsword, cast when used. How much is he wanting for this? 9,000 gold? Sorry, Bretta, that ain't gonna happen. Uh, let's see. selling him that I guess it's the moon sugars I could get rid of I could take a couple of the moon sugars off take all but one of the moon sugars off <laughs> there we go yeah round it up to 600 thank you friend goodbye and got my shield I mean, I look like a hot mess right now, but at least I'm mostly armored, right? And I'll just rest for another tw 24 hours, just chill in his shop, stand there, idling. <laughs> um, let's see. The other stuff I can sell, honestly, I... I probably could have just ran around and stolen some other stuff while this was going on, but sell this. And the other stuff I can just sell in the, like, I just need to get rid of this stuff because most of the shopkeepers are going to refuse to do business with you if you've got drugs and shit in your inventory. Didn't I have two skooma? Where'd the other, or did I sell them both to him already? I must have sold them both and not realized. Yeah, I sold them both. Okay. Round it up to a hundred, because I'm your friend. Ah, uh, you butthole. Alright. Goodbye. Well, none of the magic stuff is out. That's unfortunate. This will really, this will really fuck with him. <laughs> I'm gonna take all the stuff off the shelf and put it in the box. Yeah, that'll show him. What do I even have that weighs that much that I can throw back in here? I didn't realize I had that much weight on me. Boom. And. Imperial Broadsword. Honestly, a big a big part of the reason that I don't like stealing too much from the shops and things is because I like the I like to preserve the aesthetics. 
of the games when I'm playing, and I don't want to just like go into every store and have all the shelves just be completely slam empty um, because I stole I stole all of it and then sold it back to the the shopkeepers. Um, I like the game to stay pretty. Bacala Kloskius? Okay, cool. Barter. You have you have full chitin shit, right? Yeah. I might just go for the full chitin. Although honestly, now that I just finished robbing that dude, I'm probably gonna get targeted by the Dark Brotherhood like the next time I sleep for real. And then I can um I can just use the Dark Brotherhood armor. So this is just kind of what I'm gonna be using until I get Dark Brotherhood armor, I think. way I'm going to go over on weight with this. Okay. Wow, you won't you won't kick the price up 3 gold, you piece of crap. There, now you like me. Persuasion. Okay, there we go. So I ended up only I ended up only like netting eighty gold from that exchange because I bribed him two hundred. But now that I've done that, I can um I can at least rest assured that he won't he won't rip me off in the future because there is um he, he does have a decent I mean obviously once I get the mud crab merchant it's not gonna matter. But he has a decent amount of gold for weapons and armor, so I don't wanna like I don't want to be ripping myself off later. It'll, I'll end up making that money back from him, I promise you. I'm just thinking about what I want to do in terms of training. How are we on our level up? Yeah, we're nowhere close. So we'll do, we're going to spend this money right away. We're going to train. Um, let's join the, the Guild of Mages first. Yes. Goodbye. And then I'm going to go turn in those mushrooms and things to the, the cat lady. And then um, I'm going to train. I guess I'll train one of my intelligence things that's not, that's not a level up. <clears throat> uh, duties. Luminous, Rusula, Violet, Coprinus, Bungler's Bane. I got all that. I got all that. Take my mushrooms. Yes. Nice. Okay. You got anything else? A bet with Galbadir. Give Galvador a fake soul gem. Take it and put it in their desk upstairs. Galvador should be coming downstairs to talk with Moraine Drin so no one will see you do it. Okay. Um, yeah, let me let me do this quick level up. Or or yeah, you know what? It'll be in the chat, right? So yeah, give me give me the give me the deets. Let me know what let me know what you've got. Um Save back. Yes. So my question is, if I don't put the fake soul gem in here right away, will the will she just stay downstairs until I can go find some way to pop this 90, 90 uh, lock open? <laughs> All right, there we go. So now she should be coming back, but she's missing her 60,000 gold piece. Um, 
whatchamacallit, so sucks to be her. Boom. The Sword of White Woe next to the I feel like I remember that name. Okay. Let me let me turn in this quest and I'll go check that out. I do remember where Caius lives. That's one that that's one that appears in later games too, doesn't it? Or no? Sword of White Woe is that isn't that like a is that like a an ebony magic sword? Ajira thanks you. Local flowers. Gold canet, stone flower, willow anther, and heather. Lake Amaya. Okay. Goodbye. So, F1. Let's see. Inventory. Boom. Oh, well, actually, while I'm here, let me train in something that's intelligence based, I guess. Endurance is health gain per level. It's going to all be willpower or intelligence. I'm probably going to focus, I'll focus on willpower first for my bonus points because, um, I'm not really using a lot of magic right now, so willpower. Yeah, we'll do restoration. Oh. Oh. Do you just need five? Like, do you get do you get one stat point? for each level or do you need two levels so like if I want to gain five points in willpower when I level up should I train ten times in will in a willpower based skill or should I just do five times Okay, that's what I was thinking. Alright, so that's five in willpower. He was coming at me aggressively. I was like, whoa! Give what back? Nothing. <laughs> I suppose I am I didn't even want to talk to you, so it doesn't matter. Sign me up. Goodbye. What do you train in? No. No worries. I won't hurt you. Okay, well, that's good. Um I was gonna say I'm gonna be over encumbered. Yeah, I knew it. As I did it, I knew it was coming. Let's see. Um, put those back. What? No. Okay. Ah. Oh, okay. 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 I'm just dumb. Wait, Jesus. Um, barter. 
Okay. So she's got, or he's got, um, a little bit of money. I can sell him these. Oh, I guess I could have just not, I could have just saved my money, right? And not bribed the other guy. And then I'd have, because this guy's got even more cash. Right. Oh, I guess the hat counts as armor. Okay. Oh, Lord. Oh, you piece of shit. There we go. Barter. There we go. Oh, good. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna go get the sword because once I rest, I'm probably gonna get attacked by the Dark Brotherhood like instantly. So, I've done strength and I've done willpower. And then I guess for my last one, I'll, I'll train um, Light Armor. So I gotta go join the Thieves Guild. Or I guess, is there, there? I think there's a Light Armor trainer in the Fighters Guild, right? There should be. Man, moving normal, like normal walking is murderously slow. This is the spot, right? Like this is the tower that you have to go to. Eastern Guard Tower. Isn't it in like a box outside or is it am I am I going the right way here? The the blade of white woe. Yeah, it's like in a box outside on the roof of the tower, isn't it? Or am I just crazy? I think I might just be crazy. Top of the cabinet. Okay. Oh, okay, I see it, I see it. Yeah, there it is. So I gotta just wait for this goober to go away. Will he eventually go downstairs, or can I just take it? that bed okay I did the Odie method whoa whoa oh I've been led astray uh, uh. Well, I'm glad I saved <laughs> I thought there was one where you don't have to worry about getting ganked. Or is it just because I, um... Hang on, hang on, hang on. I know what you gotta do. I know what you gotta do. Oh, well that didn't work. Oh, it goes back up. Go behind the pillar and do that stealthed. Yes, 
I can't. Can I reach it from behind the pillar? Like, oh, do sleep, sleep stealth. Well, oh, 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 oh. That was a good, was a good chain of hits on him. Ah! Get away from me. Use it with tab and turn the camera. What do you mean? I know I've stolen this before, so I, I know it's like possible, but I'm just dumb. Use it with tab and turn the camera until healed. Oh, well, oh. Take all this stuff. Oh, okay. So I don't have to, like, sneak if he's... Okay. Yeah, gamer logic. Gamer logic. I'm sorry that it took me... You were probably like, Dude! <laughs> I'm sorry I was so stupid there. I was just like, I don't understand. He'll be able to see me. <laughs> God. Lord. belt and this shirt and these pants and these shoes and this not the dagger that's worth too much I'll give you this helmet there you go all right don't go anywhere um you were helping me out a lot Odie I just gotta go go run to the restroom and I'll be right back so don't go anywhere I need you <laughs> Can I not use my Xbox controller, but I nearly killed myself because of it. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is gonna make me a happy boy. Oh. Own self. I'm sorry. Odie boss. I've been calling you. I've been calling you Odie boss. I'm sorry, own self. Thank you. You're awesome. Um, you both have the same color text on my, <laughs> on my screen, and I thought that it would be more colors than that, but I guess that's only when you're looking at it on the, uh, on the, um, the desktop. So I'm a, I'm a bad person. I'm sorry. How are you doing, Own? There we go. Let me see. Give me one second. Working. I'm sorry. Yeah, when I look, okay. When I look in the um, in the actual chat on my computer, everybody's a different color, but you guys were all blue, so I just, uh-oh, did I crash it? I crashed it like a dummy. Ah, I knew it was going to happen. Damn it. Oh. Hang on, we're coming right back. <laughs> yeah, I, I literally talked about it at the start of the uh, at the start of the stream. I said that you know I have to be careful when I'm switching windows because it can crash your game. That sucks. That's okay. I, I'll 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 get back to where I was. Pretty much immediately because I think I saved right before I grabbed that sword, but. Are you at the start of your shift? Are you at the end of your shift? Or are you stuck in the middle? Okay. Is that something you need? Yeah, I need you to what get the hell say? out of my way. Thank you. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. Am I not in the right spot? What? Whoa, 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 wait, wait a second now. What is actually going on here? What is this sorcery? <laughs> He's totally gonna see me do it. Oh, he didn't see it! Holy crap! Yay! <laughs> Okay, okay, there we go. That was a lot easier now that I actually, like, was using my brain and understood what you were saying. Okay, sort of white, whoa, okay. Save again, lock is back. Oh, whoa, 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 don't, don't keep walking. What are you doing? Crazy boy. But yeah, I mean, like I like I was saying, at least you at least you have a job where you get the you get the opportunity to kind of, um, you know, do something other like where you can you can watch and you can kind of like, um, I don't know if enjoy is the right word if you can experience, um, me and others playing online instead of just being stuck with you know, whatever random bullcrap you're having to do. He's not, um, he's not coming after me now. What, what, what happened, buddy? That's unfortunate. Now I've, now I don't have my dark brotherhood armor. Damn it all. Um, well, this stuff is worth money. And now that I know that that's active. Maybe it's because that just didn't count as a theft because um, of game reasons. Okay. 
Sounds good. I appreciate you. And I am sorry again for calling you by the wrong name. Um, I'm just a bad streamer, I guess. Um, hmm. So can I just like, can I just yoink this and then it'll, I can't yoink that. can't yoink that. Just steal that. And now if I rest, will that? Is that something? Yeah. Oh my God. I'm gonna murder this guy just because he's constantly in my way. It's like he's he he just very barely shifts out to one side or the other to make it harder for me to get around. Okay, whatever. I got my sword. So that's what's important. I'm not gonna worry about the 300 gold piece um, armor when I've got the 17,000 gold piece sword. I don't I don't want to talk to you. Go away. <clears throat> this I got this sword and it's like half uncharged. Or no, that's the condition. Okay. Okay, okay. So I'll have to pay somebody to repair this. I sold all my hammers. So. These boxes that are just out on the street, I can take stuff from without getting in trouble, right? Like, I know I'm in an alley right now, so it doesn't matter, but... Yeah. Well, thank you. I, I feel worthy of your knowledge, sir. Thank you, Cyrodiil. Okay. Good back. Training. Okay. Barter. Uh, so you that. Oh wait, don't they charge you less if you like bribe them or whatever? Yeah. Oh yeah, they charge you way less. I cannot train a skill above its governing attribute. Well, shoot. This guy's both trained block. Okay. Cool. Now, where did I put that? burning question that everyone wants to know the answer to. Where did he put that? Hmm. Just waiting for that Dark Brotherhood assassin. How may I help you, You're sir? You're a lot more refined than most tourists I've met. <laughs> I like that. Thank you. I am not paying you 400 gold pieces to repair this sword right now. I'm sorry, sir. That is craziness. Training... I can teach nothing more about that skill. Um, so how close am I to actually leveling? Four more. Okay. Um, what else do I have that I can level? Okay, there we go. Um, 
sneak, I guess, would be the the cheap option. You know, go join the go join the thieves guild real quick and do that. That's at the um, the corner club, I think, the South Wall Corner Club. Like the entire group of people in there, almost all of them are thieves guild guys, if I'm not mistaken. Is this it? The lucky lockup. Council club, or is it the, or is it the council club that's all thieves? Oh, South Wall. That's where the thieves guild scum hang out. Cool. That answered my question. So the council club, I think, is like the Hlalu guys. Lucky lockup. I think this is just like a, a sundries shop. Pawnbroker. What you got? Council seat of House Lalu. Um, east of the Odai River. Odai. Okay, barter. What you got? Didn't really have anything to buy that interests me. She have any magical shit? Nope. So she just buys random crap. Okay. Well, she's in luck because I have some random crap for. Her. Actually, you know what? No, no. She doesn't get my business. Only Ravier gets my business. Even if I have to sleep in the front of this store. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I knew it was something, something skeevy that they had going on. That makes sense. Yeah, because the because isn't that like part of the storyline? Is that the Kamanatong and the Thieves Guild are like, or is it the Kamanatong and the and the Dark Brotherhood are like trying to uh, wipe each other out right now? Yeah. Do, 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 do. Selling all these potions, restore willpower, or fortify willpower. Don't need that. Phaedra, Mage Skill, um, Taxi, so he didn't take the tax record? What? Okay. And that. I'll let you have the 15 gold Ravire. I'll get it back from you. Come on, Atong and the Thieves Guild. Okay, I knew it was them and one or the other. I just couldn't remember which one it was. Um. So, South Wall Corner Club is east of the river, so it should be on this side. Here we go, here we go. This should be it, right? Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, this looks familiar. Um... I am a pawnbroker. Yes, I would love to join the Thieves Guild. Talk to Sugar Lips. Ooh. Sugar Lips. Hey, Sugar Lips. Habasi. How you doing? Yeah, yeah, let me in. I am now a toad. Oh, I feel so good. My whole life has been leading up to this moment. When I became a toad in the Thieves Guild. I got you. Got you, got you. 
I love the I love the interconnectedness of um of this this game like the the ways that the ways that all the different factions interact with one another um is so is so it's so refreshing compared to some of the other games okay so i'm officially irked where's my light armor trainer light armor i need to train it i need it or actually you know what never mind i can do agility there we go i'll do sneak There we go. I just needed five ranks in something that, or four ranks in something that that affected agility. Oh, looks pretty gross out here. Also like how many factions you can join in Morrowind. The other games, I feel like every successive game, what is it? they have um, like made it less and less how many factions there are and that kind of thing. Like I mean, this one you could you could really and truly end up being like the king of Morrowind essentially. Like besides the main storyline, like not even looking at the main storyline part of it because that's its own thing. But just by sheer virtue of the number of factions that are in Morrowind and the fact that you can become the leader of all of them, um, even if you never follow the main storyline, you essentially rule Morrowind by the end of the game. Tidings and good wishes to your friend. Which is pretty, pretty nice. Am I going to be awakened by a loud noise? Yes. All right, so we're gonna do. Oh, I only got plus times four agility. That's poopy. Whatever. Where are you at? Where are you, you bastard? Oh. Ah. Does he have a drain health item too? I think he's got a drain health weapon. Well, I've used up all my charges, but it's still magical, so it still does a shitload of damage, too. <laughs> nope, he was just that good. Okay. Well, that was fun and exciting. Man, this is a great sound. I know somebody who's loving this sound in the background right now. Alrighty. So, rest until healed. Boom. That kicked my armor up, like, from 11 to 30. Great. Love it. Do it. Live it. <clears throat> You're a lot more refined than most your staff men. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I like that. Well, oh, I'm sorry for insulting you by giving you a hundred gold pieces. Uh, please, I'll never do it again, bastard. Blunt, art, blunt weapon training. Okay, so yeah, it was just it was just some weirdness on my on my end, I guess. It seemed like a couple of times his health popped up.
Alright. Um. Galbadir does not buy potions, if I recall correctly. She only buys her own soul gems that you steal and sell back to her. Um, barter. Oh, he doesn't have much, but... Unexpected, but not unwelcome. Well, thank you. Please she doesn't sell it. anything. Our sugar is yours, friend. Nice. Oh, she's the she's the potion maven. Duh, I should be selling them to her, right? Yeah. I'm not even worried about the the how many she's got. I'm just trying to make a little bit of money so I can finish that. Um, my my ten my ten strength points for my next level up, and then I'm gonna probably go back to Satanin and kill those slavers because I hate them. Did I already loot this? Yeah, of course I did. Okay, and F1 before I forget. Inventory menu. Sounds rough, Chad. <clears throat> what? <laughs> okay. Okay. I forgot that time passes when you're doing training, too. Alrighty. Back to Satanine we go. I think we'll have just enough time to kill this um, to kill this group of trader or of slave traders before we have to call it. Because I do want to keep these sessions no greater than two hours, just for 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 my own ability to like download them and upload them and things. I'll um, if if. If Odie and Owen and everybody want to stick in for a little bit longer, um, what I'll do is I'll just end the current stream, and then I'll start another stream and just play more. Um, but I just I don't want it to go over two hours because it's a it's a B to try to upload this stuff to YouTube later if they're too long. Um, so if y'all are enjoying watching me, I'm I'm enjoying playing. I'm not here. <laughs> so am i i gotta ask this because i keep noticing that my weapon looks like it's getting recharged am i like automatically using um am i automatically using soul gems to recharge that or is that just me being crazy because i don't want to just accidentally use this up Like once you empty out a once you empty out an enchanted weapon, does it automatically use a soul gem in this game? Oh, they just recharge over time. Okay, because I've got that I've got that tasty sixty thousand gold piece twilight gem that I can I can easily put somewhere. I just don't want to. Um, I don't want to like look at my inventory and have it gone. So I guess it does your enchant skill affect like how quickly they regenerate or whatever? That would make sense. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 
yes. Well then, I'm glad I made that one of my one of my class skills because I wasn't sure what my ninth or my tenth skill was going to be. I was like, oh, I'll do enchant. Um, so good. I'm a smarty and don't even know it. Oh. Grab my thief ring. I do know about the thief ring. I don't know why I always grab it. I mean, it's a it's a decent item, I guess. It, it's it's weird that it's worth like no money. It feels like it should be worth more than fourteen gold, right? But whatever. Okay. Yeah. Because I think in the in the later games, it just like it affects. I guess how much charge you get back from soul gems, but I don't I don't think that the Oh well he's seen me. I was gonna say wait, let me save before I fight this guy, but because he's kind of a turd. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> oh I found that sweet spot. Yeah. yeah. That guy was messing me up so bad <laughs> in my previous playthrough and I can only assume it's because I was like right up on him so I wasn't hitting like I was supposed to because I'm definitely I'm definitely getting a sense that there there is or was or always has been like you have to be like two feet back from them to be the most accurate you possibly can um, when you're hitting stuff Throw your little star. I'm coming for you. Swiggity swooty. I'm coming for that booty. <laughs> yeah. You're dead. Now that I've confirmed that those regenerate on their own, I can I feel a lot more comfortable using this ring as like a regenerating potion. Um, just take all. And I guess I got the weight capacity right. I'll take it all. There we go. And definitely take all that. 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 Yeah, I'll take that. Gem feeder. Anduzi's unhinging. More gem feeder scrolls. Nice. I'm doing all right in that regard. Oh no, I'm over encumbered. Let's see. Oh, it's because of this. Iron Claymore that we don't need. There we go. As I recall, there's... I don't. I can't remember if this is leveled or if it's just trash, but I think there's a couple of items over here. There's an Iron Saber, I can see. Okay. And there's a treasure chest up here as well. Yeah. Grab that stuff. Okay. Well, you guys are all trash and now you're dead. And there's nothing in your bucket because your bucket is also garbage. And yeah. Head 
back to Balmora. Unload all of these special substances that I just picked up. Greetings. hate me now. Didn't I bribe you into liking me before? Uh, whatever. Okay. Oh, well, you know what? I'm not going to sell him. I'm going to sell him this other bull crap. I'm not going to sell him the armor because I can do that anywhere. from you just to even it out speak freely you don't want me to speak freely you butt let's see this guy okay so this guy does have the hundred the hundo let's see boom 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 Restore strength, personality, various, various goodies. Um, you bump it up to 125, right? You bastard. Okay. What? I'm mercantile. It's just <laughs> too low, I guess. You may speak. So let's see, what was it that I had him training me in? Um, blunt weapons. Okay, so I got blunt weapons up to 25. Um, save, 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 save. The Creeper in Caldera. Oh, that's right. I forgot about the Creeper in Caldera. Because he's got, like, no mercantile skill, right? Like, he's just he's just dumb, and he just gives you full value. I knew about the, um... I knew about the... The Drunken Mud Crab Merchant, but I completely forgot about the Creeper. He's got, like, 10,000 gold, right? I need to go over to Caldera. Can you quick travel there, or do you just have to, like, walk? Oh, he's five thousand. Okay. I don't know why I thought he had ten. The mud crab. The mud crab's got twenty, right? We make a special trip just for you. Say low price. Mage's guild. Okay. That works. So we're getting we're getting to the point where we can actually go out and do a little bit of adventuring without being scared and afraid. So, I'm gonna, hmm, I'm gonna, I, I know I just saved, but I'm gonna save right here, and what I'm gonna do is I am going to stop this stream, and when I stop this stream, I'll start a new one immediately, and I'm gonna keep playing this for a good while yet, because I'm liking the interaction. Mud Crab has 10, then I don't know what I'm thinking about. Maybe I'm just crazy. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I got 20 from then. Um, but I'll start another one up right away. I just want to get a refill on my coffee, and then I'll I'll be right back. So I appreciate you guys being here. Um, definitely stick around. I don't know if it's going to like kick you out or whatever when I end the stream. But if you haven't already, give me a follow. Um, like I said, I am going to come back, and I'm going to continue to play this for a while longer. And now that I've finished kind of building up my money and my gear a little bit, I'm going to start jumping in and doing some quests and things. So, um, save here. And, yeah, I will, like I said, I will be right back, y'all. And if you can't stick around, 
Um, I understand, and I thank you for being here. Uh, it's been fun. It's been nice to be able to have some people to talk about the game with as I'm playing it. So hopefully I see you again in like two minutes. <laughs>